What's up? Welcome back to the CEO Pulse Podcast, where you get the real, the raw, and the mind of entrepreneurship. We are here with another episode of Mindset Mondays, and my co-host, Justin Thorstad. That, that was a descaling. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I liked yeah, it. I liked the, it. it was the, good. Yeah, I don't know. I used, I used to play songs like that. So, um, let's talk about quit. All right. There's a lot of things happening on the market. Things are getting scary, uh, and it, it's regardless of, of whether you're in the real estate space or any other industry. If you're an entrepreneur, there's a lot of shit going through your mind right now in terms of fears, self doubt creeping in. The mindset portion is huge, right? Now, one of the things that um, that bubbles up to to the top of it all is is you know the the sense or the desire or, or you know that um, that quitting energy. I mean, I think it's one of the scariest uh, enemies that we have as entrepreneurs. But what is your relationship with quit? I mean, it's huge. Yeah. 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 Uh, I love this topic because, um, I mean, who, as an entrepreneur, yeah. at some point, or points, ra- rather, hasn't thought of quitting, like yeah. throwing in the towel? Yeah. Like, it's just something we all deal with, right? I think it's uh, inescapable, especially at first until you start to evolve your sense of self-awareness and your ability to see reality for what it is instead of through your biased lenses of your self-imposed limitations. So, yeah, really, what's your relationship to that word quit? And I just know for like myself, the word's not in the vocabulary anymore, you know? <clears throat> yeah. But that's not to say that it wasn't at some point. Like, I remember, <clears throat> gosh, this was, this was a long time ago. I was sitting, uh, it was at home. I was at home. It was on the weekend and I was sitting on the couch and, you know, sales were down. I was down and uh, just really struggling in a lot of different areas. And I remember sitting there and, and you know, when your mind comes up with a thought yeah. and then you identify with it, like somehow it's true, but it's just a bullshit, dumb thought. Yeah. <laughs> like you start feeling uh, emotions in alignment with that thought. And then you just start spiraling down. That's what happened to me that day. And I, I remember it vividly. And Isn't so it crazy the uh, the uh, the level of realism that we create within our minds when it comes to <laughs> possible outcomes oh that I mean they're they're far fetched. Yeah, and and, and <clears throat> the more you identify with that and you think yeah. it through, like the more just entrapped you become yeah. in that state, and it's almost like everything your mind starts saying is abundantly true. Yeah, that's yeah, the perception, yeah. anyways, right? Yeah, and I've noticed that every time I get into that kind of state. And, and then I shift out of it. Everything my mind just thought when I go to a neutral space, when I get back into a kind of witness consciousness, yeah. everything that mind said was complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. All of it. <clears throat> and so anyways, I'm sitting there on the couch and, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking these thoughts and I'm getting in that state and I'm just like doom and gloom. I suck. Da, 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 da. And I just start crying and uh, I just had it out. And uh, my wife at the time is like, what, 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 what's wrong? And I'm just like, oh, you're such a loser. Da, 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 da. You know, and yeah. I'm really going for it. And uh, but it's how I really felt in the moment. And I remember that situation because it was such a defining moment. Because at the end of that, just releasing some of that um, resistance and, and tension and so forth. I just remember thinking, wait, if I do quit. What the fuck am I going to do? Yeah. Like I don't have any other skills. Real estate's the only thing I know. <laughs> it's you know the only thing I, mean? I know. I yeah. know how to do. And and there's no way I can get a job that's gonna pay me what I what I earn. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's like, okay, what's the problem? Da, da, da. And this was well before any of my personal development over the last oh god eight years. You know, this was this was a while back. And um, oh my gosh, yeah, that was a long time ago. But anyways, um, I, I'm just grateful, like, to my mom. One thing I'm grateful for. Uh, in what she instilled into me just yeah. by watching her, modeling her as a young child of like her work ethic. Like the woman just wouldn't quit and she'd go until the job was done and you don't take a break until you're done. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think for entrepreneurs, the relationship with quit is uh, uh, so vital because <coughs> if <coughs> quitting is an option for you in anywhere in your personality, you shouldn't be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Because Think about it. When does that thought of I, uh, I'm going to quit come up when you're winning? No. no, when you're losing and when you're losing, like the 
I think your mental resilience is everything in mm-hmm. entrepreneurship because you're going to face adversity. Things are going to go wrong. Things are going to happen that you didn't plan for, predict, anticipate. Yeah. Markets shift, the economy, like all of this kinds of stuff. Big disruptors come into your industry, right? Like that's always going to happen and it's inevitable, unescapable. And so it's not what's happening that's the problem. It's what's happening inside of you. Like, yeah. what, How are you perceiving the situation? And if you've got a plan B, a chicken exit back door called <coughs> quit, like, I'll just say it this way. I've known people in my past that uh, anytime times get tough, they quit. They bail out. Throw in the towel. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're always going to, like, you are a quitter. Yeah. Like, plain and simple. Because as soon as you meet resistance, boom, you're out. It's like you don't develop any any fortitude with that, any mental resilience, any emotional capacity, any self-awareness. Yeah. And self-awareness, in my opinion, is everything. Absolutely. 100 percent, dude. It's uh, under uh, like knowing where you come from in terms of of um, your your thresholds. Right. Like especially the quitting threshold. Um, This is funny, but my relationship with with the concept of quitting uh, really, I mean, came back in the day. I was, you know, my now wife, it, it, you know, I was trying to date her, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and uh, I like, let's go out. And she was like, nah, nah. And then I was like, hey, she doesn't want to go out. And, um, and then she's like, one day she called me out on it. She goes, quit her. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. So then you decide to right? marry her, huh? <clears throat> and if no. she's listening, she's going to laugh about this. <laughs> But it's uh, it's uh, so the the whole quitter thing kind of you know got got uh, introduced to me from the ego side of things. Like, all right, all right, I see how it is. I'm not quitting. And then you know created a monster you know from that point. And and the whole thing like the, the word <laughs> yeah exactly like there you go. Uh, but it, it's uh, from that point forward. You know what I mean? It, it's um, the 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 word itself the trigger like just. I see it in front of me whenever I con- even contemplate the idea of quitting mm. on something, right? Um, it, it's it, quitter. It's like, no, it's not happening. Yeah. Um, and, and you, it, it's and you can present it in so many different ways. I was looking at a reel the other day, um, and I think it was Brad Leo or I don't know one, one of those guys, and they were talking about, uh, and this is going to be very graphic, uh, but they were talking about you know listening to the bitch within you, uh, and I mean it's it's very you know <laughs> very <laughs> very um, rude, right? Uh, but he was putting it in those terms, like right when you're when you're dropping uh, something because of adversity, not because of of a pivot or a shift in perspective or a shift in in ideals or, or mm-hmm. you know. Like, that's okay. <clears throat> what is not okay is still wanting that ultimate outcome and then stopping halfway through it because you're quitting, 100%. right? 100%. Um, and and uh, that that relationship, I mean, just, you know, started getting stronger as I, you know, I became an entrepreneur and then we see adversity and then you have, when you're in survival mode, man, I think we have superpowers um, because quitting is really not an option. Yeah. If you quit, you die. Well, desperation like, is a hell of a motivator. <clears throat> oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, the the crazy thing is that when and I talk about survival mode all the time because I think it's it's very important to have the awareness of where we are at in, in terms of stages, right? But when you get to us to a space where where survival is not is not the thing that you're fighting, you know, against anymore, uh, things become easier. It's like ah, oh, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, that's I don't know. It sounds too hard. I'm not gonna push through, uh, you know. No, I'm, t- I'm yeah, like it, it's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that because I'm not gonna die anyways. Yeah. Um, well, uh, if I may just add something to that, yeah. that I think it's really important for people to understand is that, okay, so you're in survival mode, so you grind, you go, you hustle, you're planting seeds, you know what I mean, and then you start le- hitting a, a certain level of success, whatever yeah. your definition is of that, right? You start getting the results you want. Let's yeah. say, well, I think the the um, the danger in that for a lot of people is that then they become comfortable and therefore complacent. Yeah. And it, like it's making the shift from using desperation as motivation to then, okay, <coughs> now that I'm good and I don't have to do anything, yeah. how can I be inspired to grow? Yeah. Like what would pull me forward? Because the same motivation that got you there, desperation, yeah. is no longer existent. But if you do nothing, things will decay and yeah. you'll become desperate again. So if you want to make that transition from desperation to inspiration, like you've got to have it in mind. You know, it's like it's, it's utilizing your energy. 
when you're using desperation, you're attempt you're investing your energy to move away from yeah. what you don't want. Inspiration is moving towards what you do towards want. Towards what you okay. and and so that's fine. Like you think of it, a spaceship, it uses a vast amount of energy to move away from what it doesn't want, the Earth. Yeah. Yes. But once it hits orbit, now it gets to use very little energy <coughs> moving towards what it does want because it's got momentum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh so yeah. you can use desperation to at least get your ass off your off the chair and yeah. into motion. You know what I mean? But the other thing I wanted to say was, you know, my definition of failure, because I've just read this little meme from a very, you know, uh, famous kind of motivator. And it said, um, entrepreneurs uh, fail often. And I thought, that's bullshit, man. I don't fail ever. Yeah. Because to me, like, we got to use the same terminology. Failure to me is not even getting started or quitting. quitting. Yeah. And like, if you don't have any quit in your game and you're already in motion, you're going to make a shit ton of mistakes. That's yeah. guaranteed. And thank God for that because that's how we learn, right? Yeah. But if you don't quit, how are you failing? <coughs> like, I, yeah. I don't understand that. But again, that, that's assuming we're using the same terminology. Well, I mean, and uh, I think it's simple, right? Like, we don't, we don't have to get too complicated in terms of understanding, uh, you know, what the lingo is. At the end of the day, if you stop where you're heading, uh, because you got you, you got adversity in front of you, like you're gonna get hit with adversity tomorrow. It's just life. Yeah. I mean, you can choose your heart, right? And we've we've heard that a thousand times. Like, okay, cool. I, building a business and, and and having this life by design is hard, but also running out of a pension when you're 65 and 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 you know don't have nest egg uh, and uh, uh, nest egg. You yeah. know that's also hard. Like, pick your heart. Yeah, um, I call it a shit <clears> sandwich. <throat> Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Elaborate. Either, well, yeah, yeah. That sounds, so I, sounds, I, um, I don't like the word hard. Like, <laughs> what, what, what is anyone inspired to do? That's right. hard. A challenge, though. Ooh, I like a good challenge. You yeah. know what I mean? I like to overcome a challenge. Then that, that I can do. But hard, yeah. like seventy-five hard. It's like the name in and of itself is demotivating to me, <laughs> right? Yeah. So instead of saying, "Well, choose your hard," which I understand the context. Same thing with a shit sandwich. Like to not do it. You're going to eat a shit sandwich because there's consequences. Yeah. But then to do it and get committed and be disciplined or consistent, I yeah. like to say, like that takes effort, too. And you're going to go through struggles. So right. that's a shit sandwich. So choose your shit sandwich because you're going to eat one one way or another. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like either way, yeah. it's going to there's going to be some suck involved. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want? Negative consequences or the potential for the upside? Yeah. yeah. And usually a lot of that potential, right, for the upside has a lot of front loading to it. Oh, yeah. Not not that, you know, you don't see a lot of immediate results and, and instant <laughs> gratification or and any? that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, you go years. I know I've gone years. Uh, yeah. pursuing this dream, this idea of what I want to create, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then <clears throat> most often than not, like the, um, the, just the highlights are, are kind of revealed out front. But people don't see the, the other 20 years that you've oh, spent in the, in the trenches and, yeah. and that sort of thing. So it, it's uh, how, how, um, how weak is, is your, your ability to stand against that energy, right, of quitting against adversity when, uh, when it's just in front of you, when it's, it, it's, you know, one of the things that happens on a, you know, on a regular basis, man. Yeah. Um, well, if there was no challenge, <clears throat> like the, the, the drive and the intention and yeah. all of the growth, self-awareness that comes from that resistance, yeah. um, that mental resilience, like that's really, for me, yeah. what the pursuit is all about is evolving myself yeah. through the process. And so, but I think a lot of entrepreneurs though, they get into business, they, they start this thing simply because they wanna make a lot of money. Yeah. And so now the sole motivation is that. So if I start working my ass off and I'm hustling and I'm grinding and for a year, two, three, four, and I don't see the result money, yeah. which was the motivating <clears throat> reason, then why not quit? Yeah, it, I mean the, the um the dynamic that it creates, man, it turns you into a different beast, right? Uh, first off, yeah, I can't, grinder. you know, uh, yeah, well, and, and it's from the grinding standpoint, the hustle standpoint, but also from the appreciation and the gratitude standpoint, man, like if we don't have those, those difficult, um, you know, stages, yeah. I feel that we have to overcome, um, where does the character get built? I mean, this, hell, this, this is one of my favorite books, hard type, hard times create strong man. Mm. Um, and it, it, it talks, yeah, 
it uh, it it talks about you know the uh, the tenacity that we need as, as human beings to go through hard times, right? And when you come out on the other end, you you're a stronger generation, you're a stronger individual. Totally. Uh, well, they, like and, and by default, you're creating a bigger ripple effect in life, which is ultimately what entrepreneurs do, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what's the the virtue in being a hero if there's no villain? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. you, you got to have that opposition <clears throat> for the development. Isn't it crazy character. when you start seeing adversity as a villain and then you start, okay, what's my villain? Like, who am I fighting against today? We're always fighting. Like, we're always, you know, you know, having, having a, 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 a quote-unquote adversity battle against something. You have, you have, and I know where you're going to go. Like, I know, I know where you're going to go with this. Okay, but, 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 uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's uh, the economy. It's, you know, the, the, yeah. you know, the market, whatever, the employees, the this and the that. Right? We, can, we can operate from a, from a space of being, but we don't understand that until we've actually not quit yeah. in the past. Like it takes a while to get to that space where you where you have that comprehension of how it actually works. Uh, agreed. And um, yeah, the the fight. Yeah. You know, like every, everyone uh, <clears throat> loves a good fight, and I used to as well. Like yeah. total fighter, just from my because of my childhood, and then identifying with some of the labels of you know, well, I've got Norwegian Viking blood and Irish, and uh, I'm a Leo and fiery and da da da. And so it was kind of like this pride that I got yeah. to, you know, wear. And what I realized in the amount of fights, let's say, that I've been in, uh, physically and otherwise, yeah. um, just battling economy, myself, I began to realize that there was no fight. All of these situations, all of these circumstances, the environment is always unfolding for me. Yeah. Like these things are happening for my benefit. <coughs> It's the benefit and the gift of being present with the reality to see it for what it is, yeah. to notice where is my mind, the unobserved parts of my personality or ego, have a problem with this. Why? What is that that I get to let go of so yeah. it's no longer running me? So I'm behind the mind paying attention to what the mind has to say about it through its bias lenses yeah. and letting that shit go and reframing the lens in which I perceive information. Now, case in point, right? How many not quits did you have to go through to finally adopt that mentality? Oh, I, uh, that's, I lost count. That's the beauty of it, right? Yeah, yeah. We don't go through through that trench work you wanna rise. and and we don't increase our threshold uh, threshold of, of quitting. And yeah. you know that uh, that uh, I mean it's it's really a weakness. It's it's, it's what it is, right? It, it, it's, it is. If it's uh, and again, I I'm saying don't quit something that's. Uh, I'm not saying don't quit something that's detrimental, that's, you know, toxic. killing you or that's yeah. toxic, yeah. Uh, you know, talking like a relationship or a bad, bad business deal. Sure. Like there's things that you have to stop. Right. Like we're not talking about that kind <laughs> yeah. of stuff. We're talking about we're talking about the uh, the uh, your purpose in life when you your, have your when, exactly when yeah. you have a desire, when you have something in alignment and you feel that's your calling and it's pulling you that way and you're heading that way and then adversity gets in the way. Um, you get burned out, you get tired, incredibly. Yeah. It, 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 like this is, yeah, you feel defeated, you feel like a failure and then you start adopting this false sense, uh, uh, this false identity um, and, and uh, you know, and take it as real and you know, choose to quit. Like that's the type of quitting yeah. that, we're, that we're going up against. You are going to see that as an entrepreneur. Right now, it's a vivid example. Of, of, I mean, we see real estate agents, right? For, yeah. I mean, dropping like flies, left and right. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm uh, not upset. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I think <laughs> it's got to be a gotta thin the herd. Yeah, it's got to be a thinning of the herd, and there's yeah. going to be a lot of opportunity here coming up. But again, that's if you don't quit. Yeah. If you if you just you know go through the motions and and uh, and if you have this solid grip on on what you're becoming. Right, stick to it. Um, a lot of the a lot of the, I feel like a lot of the uh, the problem. Uh, when it comes to quitting, it lies in in having no clarity over what we want. Mm. Um, if you don't have this, like for example, I don't know, you ha there's no set goal. If you want to, you know, start simple and pragmatic, right? I'm not, I'm not talking about a life purpose. I'm not talking about, um, you know, what a, you, what my life needs to look like when I'm 80. I'm talking about, you know, the now. Um, think, you know, if you're going through a tough time, and and you don't have clarity over what's on the other side of that adversity. Like mm. a fucking Netflix show is going to make you quit. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, new series. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, they they are intriguing, um, <laughs> but uh, but it's 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 important to understand that it's easy to lose grip on traction on any momentum that we have gained. If like, let's say you're being you've been hustling for the last three months, and then boom, next thing you know, the Fed did their thing, and then they're like, oh shit, all my marketing is like it went nowhere. Yeah. Um, you can throw in the towel, or you can figure out a way to pivot, right? But not quit. On 100%. Yeah, if well, it's in I alignment. Think, you know, we, we all know that quitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, whether it's within yourself or just someone you know in your circle. And what I've noticed about those quitters is that every time they quit, they're reinforcing that mode of operation. Yeah. So it becomes easier and easier and easier to quit. And, you know, as the saying goes, man, quitters never win. Yeah. And winners never quit. Never quit. You know, it's like... Why do you think you got to, you know, it's it's just such an illusion for people to think that, okay, that's what I want. That's the goal. And here's what I think I'm going to get from it. And I'm going to work towards it. And everything's going to unfold perfectly the way I think it's going to. Nothing bad's going to happen. And I'm only going to get what I want. Like, it's delusional. Yeah. That's the business plan, bro. (laughs) <laughs> yeah this is the plan duh yeah. yeah and that's why the saying goes uh looks good on paper yeah it looks <laughs> you know good on what paper. I mean? <laughs> pencils out yeah, yeah so just understand i mean as entrepreneurs understand that that uh, things are going to change if you're just breaking into entrepreneurship you're in the uh, younger years and and uh you haven't seen you know some of that adversity yet um under, it's part of it it's part of the journey yeah. I, I have i've never <laughs> spoken to anybody who's been successful as an entrepreneur who hasn't seen adversity right and hasn't plowed through it and yeah. and you know held on to I, that uh man i rather really uh, talk to someone ability to get things done so like robert kiyosaki yeah I, I followed him a lot especially in my my earlier years and he said nine out of ten businesses fail yeah. and i was like fuck he goes so you just got to be willing to start ten that's within the first five years yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Within the first five years. Yeah, nine, nine, and ten. I thought, man, well, that's you know defeating. But I thought, no, wait a minute. That means then you got to be willing before you even start. Yeah. To start ten businesses. Yeah. And those nine failures, if you quit, yeah, aren't a bad thing because if that entrepreneur did start ten businesses and only one hit, yeah. they didn't quit, did they? Yeah. You, yeah. That's that's the profound beauty, and I would rather surround myself with 10 different people that have shut down their business, nine of them until hitting yeah. it finally in their 10th because the character they developed in the process, like you, you can't teach that. Yeah. You can't buy that. Exactly. It's only through experience. <clears throat> can you embody it and have a deep, full understanding yeah. of that mental resilience, mental and emotional. And I rather surround myself with people like that because they know a shit ton about what not to do. Yeah. And honestly, I think, Knowing what not to do most times is more important than what to do. Yeah, you know what oh, I mean. Oh, absolutely. And so, um, one of the uh, I was on a, a podcast uh, last week with um, uh, Real Estate um, Investor Association, and they like one of the questions that they have in that podcast is like, "What's your superpower?" Right? And then some people will say marketing. Some people will say like, and I, I was I sat there and thought about it for a little bit, and and uh, I was like. I'm, I'm going to, you know, outwork everybody. Like, no, it's not necessarily thru, uh, true. I mean, you know, there might be somebody who's less lazy than I am. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, they're probably going to outwork me. I'm not the smartest guy. I mean, I'm <laughs> clever. And I come up with... The guy didn't like, say that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. So I started thinking about it. And then the one, th- the one thing that just kind of, you know, registered was uh, I've always found a way to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Like, and we all have if you think about it, yeah. right? Yeah. You've always found a way to figure it out. And if you I, don't quit. I've, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, since since uh, the uh, the quitter the quitter thing, you know, incident. Yeah. I mean, that really was a game changer. Believe it or not, it may it may be you know huge gift, man. like comedic, but but it's it's like it's so true. It made yeah. an impact, uh, and now we like we laugh about it. Like you you created a beast just from that yeah. comment. Thank God. Um, because like it, it's uh, like when I'm honed in on something. And, and, uh, again, it's either, you know, focus or survival mode at that period or, or, you know, trying to bring a project to life or whatever. Right. There's this intense, uh, level of, of attention and focus, um, that I need to be pulled away from it. But I always, um, like my, my thing was like, I, I've been able to figure it out. Like my, my superpower is I'm going to be able to figure it out. Like it's figureatable, you know? Yeah. And, um, and, and it, it doesn't, uh, like th- that's not, you know, it's not a special 
um, skill. It's just a matter of not quitting. Mm. It's a matter of looking at different perspectives. You and I think it's not special because it's just a natural mode of operation that takes no conscious thought. However, it is a superpower. Like to, to have a knowingness. So I have a list of truths that I used to write out every single day yeah. until the point where then I just wrote them out in front of me where I, where I meditate. And um, it's not something I have to look at now anymore because they're just, they're just who I they're, am, yeah. parts of my character and personality. One is I always figure it out. Yeah. I know what to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, if you, it's, it just lends this certain level of respect and trust in self yeah. that I don't need the external to be a certain way. I got yeah. me. And I know what I'm capable of. Everything's going to be just fine. Yeah. Um, so ask yourself, what is your relationship with quit? In, in the uh, in the midst, 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 midst. That's <laughs> always been a difficult <laughs> word. But you know what? I'm not going to quit saying it. Yeah, no, yeah. go for it, bro. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, but yeah, in, in, <laughs> in the face of adversity, there see, you go. I pivoted. You see, see when, how when my I'm thought process works? Word, oh, I'm bro. like, fuck it, use a different word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to butcher it anyway. I don't quit. <laughs> yeah, but I don't quit. Um, if you don't understand it, it's a you problem. Yeah. Um, but uh, but <laughs> so, well, so uh, it, you know, how, what is your relationship with you when, you, when you're hit with adversity, right? And, and you're contemplating the uh, i'm a loser i'm a failure i am not built for this and you're giving yourself all these negative uh, you know self-talk that uh, end up being you know bullshit stories that you're just creating because you have that creativity within your mindset a creative mind can be a a dangerous thing as well because it'll go to dark yeah. places oh, yeah man right for sure. for yeah sure. i mean it can be it can be the <laughs> the the um the holy grail if you, if you use it wisely, right? Yeah. But if you don't keep it managed, if you don't control it, if you don't meditate, if you don't have that self, self-sense of awareness, mm-hmm. uh, if you don't have a clarity over your head, it, that that same creative mind is going to dig a fucking hole that it's going to be tough yeah. to get out from emotionally. Well, yeah, and but that's just <clears> going to lend to a whole nother topic and an episode. Yeah. Write that down, Gio. Is like <laughs> consciousness. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's the deal. Is like people identify as if they are the mind. Yeah. But you don't say am mind. You yeah. say my mind, yeah. mind meaning possession. It's something you have. It's not yeah. who you are. And so listening to that mind and getting involved with it for whatever you think the good is or like just never works out. You, right? you know, you know, one thing that uh, I mean, it may be maybe it may sound silly or whatnot, but it gets me out of my head. It's verbalizing. It's just talking, actually sure. voicing. Uh, if I'm thinking something, if I'm in the car, I'll start singing. Uh, I'll start, you know, speaking out loud. I'll start, you know, doing something, but just like voicing stuff yeah. out, getting it out of your head. Um, uh, it's incredible. It's a, it's a, a it is. I mean, it's a, well, it's what I think it's a, a great super well. hack yeah. for, for when you're caught in, in your head. Start verbalizing stuff. Start singing a song that you like. Uh, force yourself to, to I don't know, uh, read like your it. notes on your yeah. journal. Just make some noise with, with your mouth. So what I like, do is I, I go to my notes. And, and my then phone. let me know how that goes. Yeah. yeah. And then I just hit the microphone and start talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just get it out. Yeah. Because there, there is something to be said about taking the intangible. It is kind of tangible. It's, a, yeah. it's an electric pulse. However, taking it from thought into a physical form. Yeah. You know, a Absolutely. different kind of vibration of voice. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but. Like, I think... Power of the spoken word. Yeah, absolutely. As an entrepreneur, like, there's something to be said about the um, mindset of burning the boats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as an entrepreneur, if you're going to venture out and start a business, you get... I mean, like, think about it. It's almost like you're sailing to a foreign country, land. Yeah. Yeah? And, like, if retreat is an option to you, don't worry, you will. You know what I mean? Because you can always get in the boat and go home. <clears throat> However, when you sail to that foreign land, you burn the boats, there's no possibility of retreat. Mm. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, seriously, you're all in. That's yeah. the epitome of committed. Yeah. You know, I will until it's done. Yeah, I think I think we have to have the uh, the willingness to put ourselves in, in survival mode sometimes just because we don't understand the space that we're getting into. Right. We may we may understand yeah. the theory behind it, but un- until you live it, until you actually assume responsibilities, you have that, you know, and, and you know, we'll get on a day to day pragmatic here. But a, a payroll on top of you, you have mm-hmm. you know response stuff that you have to handle. Yeah. Um, it's a totally different way. Right yeah. now, it's it's a different type of fire, man. It just burns hotter. Absolutely. Um, well, if you've never had an experience of that thing you're yeah. about to go do, you don't understand what it's going to take. Yeah. Period. Like, and you just got to have that level of honesty with self of, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. I've talked to a few people. I got a best.
best guess. However, I'm about to learn a lot because I'm yeah. going to make a shit ton of mistakes. Yeah. And isn't that wonderful and beautiful? Because I'm going to learn. I'm going to be better equipped for whatever I do next. Yeah. Because this isn't going to be the end all be all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Document your story too. Document your journey. Sure. I mean, that's huge, right? When, when, uh, like, one of the things that that kind of gets me out of that, you know, shitty state of conversation is, is within my head is looking at, okay, what are my wins? It's something that I do on a regular basis. If you look at my uh, journals and my notebooks, like what, what were my wins yesterday? I can tell you, okay, this I had this really good call from a student. This happened. That's a win. They won, but it's a win on my book as totally. well. Um, you know, we closed something. That we, I don't know, had a new experience. What are my wins, right? As we go through this process, if, you're, don't, if you don't identify what you're winning at, um, it's going to be so easy, man, to quit just because you, you don't have clarity over the, the good and the bad. And all you're yeah, seeing, man. all you're feeling is that emotional uh, attack. On, I, I on hope your people that watch this write that shit down. Because if you're not paying attention to your win, and I don't care how damn small it is. Yeah. Because what you pay attention to is where you invest your energy. And where you invest your energy, that will grow, expand, and multiply. Yeah. And it's so easy and so natural for most people to focus on what's not working, what's going wrong, yeah. where do I suck? And like now you're just gonna that's gonna just be the object of your consciousness, what you pay attention to. Yeah. So you might as well, if you get to choose, and you do, you might as well focus on the wins, no matter how fucking small. Because you find yeah. one, it'll lead to the next and the next and the next and pulling threads on it's a great yeah. way to debrief <clears throat> yourself throughout your you know, at the end of your day. Yeah. yeah. Thousand so. percent. So again, just ask yourself what is your relationship with quitting? Right. Um, where have you done it before that you're kicking yourself in the ass now? Uh, what kind of opportunities have you lost in the past? Um, what kind of opportunities lay in front of you? you? Just don't quit. If you stay, you know, continue on the path. And, and if you create that level of clarity that uh, that uh, you need to have in order to have that fortitude, right, that mental fortitude. So good talk, man. I love that yeah. topic. I mean, it's very relevant, especially now. There's a lot of turbulence, oh, yeah. a lot of stuff going on uh, on, on all fronts. Right. Uh, so we we have to have it. If anything, we can control that you know the little ecosystem within you know our heads in terms of the self talk, the uh, the vision that we create, the the path that we're carving out for ourselves, um, and then take that to the next level. So, yeah, love it, Justin. Where can find uh, somebody get a hold of you? They want yeah, justinthorstad.com or my phone number. Text me, call me 602-348-8534. Fire! All right, fam. And um, I'm going to ask you that if you like the content that we're putting out there for you on a regular basis, please subscribe, like, and share. Uh, send this out to somebody who you think might benefit from the podcast and our conversations. And if you want to get a hold of me, I'm pretty active on social media at Rafael Cortez CEO um, on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, the um, uh, real estate investment Facebook group is reawholesaling.com. With that being said, fam, love you. We'll catch you on the next one. Stay focused. You got this. Bam! Let's go.